Okay, what he done, he uh, ran the wire through the rubber boot right there in the middle, uh, right by the steering wheel to the, if you look from the steering wheel, it'll be, be on the right hand side, right there. You see that rubber boot right there? We run, we ran only an eight gauge to here, so we are uh, putting the uh, 80 amp fuse holder right here. And I'm gonna show you in the, in the back of the steering wheel. Yes, here's on the back of the steering wheel. Here's where the uh, gas pedal, and he ran it through right there. See my hand right there, and go down here. And you want to make sure there's no uh, no wire, anything like that, and behind this uh, pedal right here, the gas pedal, because when they step on the uh, gas, and they would stop right there, so they might go in 30 miles per hour. So you want to put down here a little bit, and ran through right here. And as always, you can uh, take a flat head and pry this open right here. Or with the 8 gauge, you probably don't have to do much. But well, actually this one you have to. With Usually with an 8 gauge, I don't really have to take this out. I just snuck it right there and go down here. And then same as over here. And then, and for those of you who install the uh, high-low converter, which is line-out converter, LOC you called it. If you don't have the built-in remote, what you can do right here, you see this one on the le on the left, it's 7.5, it's say DRL on your fuse, uh, it will say DRL, you want to put the fuse on the top, right there, you want on this side right here, not on the bottom, but on the top, the wire, the remote wire, you can run it right there, that way, uh, if something happened, it popped this fuse instead of pop something else. That's for your remote wire. So, we haven't really cleaned this up yet. Here's a line out converter. What I'm using is a Kiss Lock 2, which has the uh, remote wire built in. And I don't use the uh, regular uh, remote wire from the front, but I did show you how the remote, where to hook it up at. And I didn't have a spade terminal small enough, so I used it like that. I mean, it should be good because there's no wire that's going to touch each other right here. So with the case lock 2, you're going to have to uh, get the uh, from the speaker wire. From the speaker wire up here on the uh, left rear, you're going to hook up the positive, which is yellow. The brown is negative. So your two wire, your uh, white. Your white and gray is positive, so you're going to hook up to the yellow. And then your white, black, and gray, black, you're going to hook up to the brown wire. And then you're going to have to hook up a remote to this P card right here, or remote. This is an old amp. Uh, and then you got your ground hooked up. Your ground, I usually uh, clean it really good to the bare metal and then running two uh, self tapper screw on it so it won't move and then your power your battery go and hook it up normally and then your speaker wire and then you're gonna run an RCA jack from uh, this case lock 2 to this uh, line in converter and then that's it that's a 2014 Honda Accord We're gonna start the car, you're gonna hear a loud buzzing noise in a second. This is a passenger side, it's a 2014, I believe it fit on 2014 and 16. Uh, here's the radios. You don't want to take the whole radio off. You just want to take this black panel off right here. And here's how you're going to do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pry it off right here. Pull this out first. And I pre-pry it already. Pry it like this right here. And then right there now, right here, there's a clip. There's two clips, one right here and one right there. And then there's a screw right there. So what you're going to have to do, I'm just showing you right now because I took the screw out already. You just kind of push this back in like this a little bit and pry it out like this try not to break it and then this one like that 
and then now you'll be able to, to put a uh, Phillips and there's a screw in there and right in the middle right there you can take the screw out yep you just take the screw out and then let's say the screw is already out you just pull the whole thing out again and there you go and here's where the screw is going to be at right there and then now so right now you're gonna want to look for the uh, gray plug right in the back be right almost behind the radio it's not this gray plug right here it's it's all the way up there I'm gonna try to reach you. you see those ground wire right there <coughs> Kind of hard to see. There's. Oof. Right there. Flat head right here. See on top of this. There's a, a plug right here. That's a gray plug. You pry, you take a flat head and pry that plug out right there. So basically your flat head will pry it out. Once you pry it out, you got the ANC out. So that's how you take the uh, noise out of the uh, amplifier. Yeah, it's pretty difficult. You gotta basically lay down and reach all the way right there. It's right on top of that ground. Uh, brown plug right there the brown wire not the brown plug and it's a gray plug it is pretty difficult to get to there but once you got an idea of it uh, make sure you have a long flat hat or to pry it out and that's it